Welcome to Theater in the Wild at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park at Walt Disney World Resort. Want to peek behind the scenes at Finding Nemo, the Big Blue and Beyond? Melissa and I are the stage managers for this musical celebration of Finding Nemo, and we can't wait to show you around. Here are the costumes. This is the blue Natard, as we call them, which is what every actor wears as a base. In our show, the costumes are designed to let the characters be the stars. Our performers do a great job of blending the puppetry with their own performances. They manage to find a nice balance between animating their faces while still drawing you into what the puppet is doing. Even more impressive is that our performers are taught all the puppeteering during the rehearsal process. Some puppets can be operated in your hand, but this Mr. Ray puppet is operated with a bicycle. Of course, one of the most popular puppets in the show is Crush. This puppet takes five people to help bring him to life. Taking a closer look at a few of these puppets and costumes, you can actually see how much detail goes into each piece. Like the moss on these shark costumes. It really looks like they've come from the deep ocean. And even subtle details like this help create dimensions under the show lights. Speaking of lights, let's take a look at some of the technology we use in the show. While the show is going on, you're most likely going to find us in the tech booth, calling cues for the technicians in the show. Think of it like our own little fish tank where we can see everything that's going on. Let's just keep swimming to the stage where one of the coolest things to see is our video wall. This wall is 59 feet across and 23 feet high, and it contains 504 LED panels. This technology, plus the set pieces, projections, and the lighting, transports you into the world of Nemo and his friends. The technical elements also enhance the storytelling in the show. One of my favorite moments in the show is Marlon's emotional goodbye to Nemo. The music slowly peels back from a full company grand finale moment to a soft piano underscore while the lights come down, revealing Nemo and Marlon in spotlight. All these technical and staging cues come together and it's so powerful and gives me chills every single time. And you can just feel that same thing is happening with the audience too. In the show altogether, you will see over 300 lighting cues utilizing 528 lighting instruments and 89 moving lights. In addition, we have 10 projectors, 14 bubble machines, and three hazers. On stage, there are 14 performers, and backstage, there are 12 technicians, four costumers, and one stage manager. Every part of the show works together seamlessly to immerse our audiences in the joy of Disney and Pixar's Finding Nemo. Together, we create an experience that even Dory would have trouble forgetting. 